One night, we're out celebrating a birthday at a bar uh, when Matt tells us that he's been talking to this great girl and she and her friends are going to come meet up with us. Uh, you know, so we asked Matt how he met her and he said, well, you know, I met her at work and she's sort of my boss, but you know, she's really, really great. You know, but no matter the situation, she always seemed to be happy just to be around Matt and it was obvious that the feeling was mutual. It has been a joyous world. I mean, you know, for the most, I mean, every, you know, there might have been a couple hiccups, teenage years, you know, the whole thing, but you, you, you have been a joy to raise. You honestly have. And as your father, I have been proud of you always. He's got a very caring, sensitive side, and I think it really showed when she came down the aisle and just how moved he was by the whole, by seeing her. She's the love of his life. May the Lord bless these rings, which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. We met him a few months later in the fall, and we all went to a tailgate for an ECU football game in Philadelphia. And Matt's dad drove him down to Philadelphia to the parking lot where we were all tailgating. And she introduced him to us. So that was the first time. But I remember thinking it was so neat that his dad drove him down. I could tell he came from a caring family. Just how, you know, each date, he's, I really, really like her a lot. And then it grew into, you know, I really love her. And she's the one for me. And I said, Matthew, I can see. I see the way you look at her. I see the way you treat her. I see the way you guys have so much respect for each other and love for each other. And it's just, it's a good feeling knowing that, you know, you guys uh, are together. And it's been awesome to witness your relationship grow to this point, and I can't wait to be there for the exciting things that come next. Uh, so let's have a toast to the couple. Katie was a very determined, intelligent, organized young little girl. She loved doing her puzzles and reading and being super busy. And she was a great big sister to her siblings, Lauren and Billy. She was a good role model. She just makes a difference in everything that she does. She has been really successful with her friendships. She's made wonderful friends. She's worked so hard at her job. She's moved a lot and she just always keeps a positive attitude and is really the backbone to all the things that happen and that all the changes that have to be coordinated and 
She really has her priorities straight and shows that to her brothers and sisters that she just believes in God, family, and friends and lives her life that way. Probably everyone doesn't know this, she was a discus thrower in high school. <laughs> um, which came as a surprise to pretty much everyone in the family and I think everyone in the crowd at those track meets as well. Um, everyone that Katie was competing against had, you know, bigger frames and they would give these like intimidating yells after they threw the discus. Meanwhile, petite, blonde, unassuming little Katie would sidle up to the pit and casually toss the discus further than girls twice her size. <laughs> okay, good. I think it's pretty clear tonight to everyone how beautiful and elegant and graceful she is. I mean, she really just has such a presence about her and I think it's more than most people have. Um, but when you really get to know my sister, you realize she's an absolute powerhouse. He was always growing up, he was like my little buddy. He was my, he's a very endearing person and just very caring and just a great, great young man now. At Lehigh, Matt and I became friends uh, when we moved off campus together our junior year. Uh, my first impressions of Matt were, you know, he was fun, outgoing, the type of person didn't take himself, you know, too seriously. He was and still just someone who brings positive energy into a room, the type of guy that makes any moment, you know, really special. You're one of the most genuine people I know, humble, hardworking, funny, and the type of person I know I can call for help or advice no matter the situation. I know after the very first date with Kate, she captured his heart. Matthew was always very selective as to who he went out with. He didn't have really a lot of serious girlfriends, and um, when he met Kate, just how he spoke about her, and you could just tell. <laughs> I knew that she was interested in him when she wanted her sister to meet him, which was pretty much their first date. And as she was getting ready for the first date, her sister was helping her get ready and she left 
And then her sister Lauren texted me and said, Katie just went on a date with her future husband. She just knew he was the right guy. And Lauren loved him. And I think when Lauren loved him as much as Katie did, Katie knew that he was the right guy. Watching when Kate came down the aisle and Matthew starting to tear up. And that was probably a pretty emotional time for me, just to see him just really taking the whole thing in and seeing his beautiful wife-to-be just coming down the aisle and I guess the reality of everything really you allow God to always be part of this gift, there'll be great days, tremendous memories, family, love, for a long, long, long time. And so in the midst of all the gifts, everything that you might be showered upon you today, all of that pales in comparison. My dear friends, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with the sacred seal. I'm Matthew. Thank you, Catherine, to be my wife. Hi, Catherine. Take you, Matthew, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you. And to honor you. All the days of my life. The gift that they're going to receive first, other than the love that they have for one another, is the bread and wine. And it will also be the first gift that they will give away as a married couple, so that you and I can celebrate and share in the gift of the Eucharist. receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Matt, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. where you were supposed to be. This wasn't the church that you guys originally planned to be married in. And it worked out that it was for whatever reason. So you were in the right place with the right person. And as a father, that just makes me feel blessed. I'm so grateful that we are all here together after a long wait <laughs> to celebrate. I know I can lean on you. Oh, you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree. If I be a shooting star, you make a wish. No, I don't fake this kind of The first day I moved in, I'm unpacking my things basically on top of hers. And she's like, you know, there's this guy from work I think he likes me I'm not sure can you meet him like sure so the next night we all go to the local watering hole the village tavern <laughs> um, and you know I'm not exaggerating from the second I saw the way that Matt looked at Katie I knew he was the one I truly feel like you have become part of our family when I wake in the morning and I see your face I'm becoming blind by your dazzling grace What a beautiful feeling to be close to you There's nothing
nothing else I wanna do Ooh, and from the fields of flowers you chose to pick me Your spread sugar on my misery And I don't fake this kind of feeling, never felt so real My heart is on the table cause you're my everything I do the vows they exchanged today be strengthened in their hearts each and every day. And may we all be true witnesses to those vows by our continued love and support of them. loving my big sister the way that she deserves to be loved. They say that you can't choose your family, but if I had an opportunity to go back in time and choose, I would always, always choose Katie to be my sister. Um, and Matt, I don't think she could have chosen a better husband. Your relationship is a reflection of all of the love that both of you have been surrounded by your whole life. We love her dearly and just the joining of the two families. The Murphys are absolutely wonderful. They've been they've been just fantastic. Um, to Ma they've been very good to Matthew and very good to our family and um, just the blending of the two families. I see them probably living in a major city, either New York or Chicago, probably for the next five or six years before they settle down in suburbia. But I see three or four children in their future and and Kate may be staying home with the kids and doing a, a travel blog. So Matt, you know how I feel about Kate. <laughs> and honestly, I figured someday she would want to get married, but nobody was ever going to measure up, honestly. I just being, you know, I'm a father, right? Nobody's ever good enough for your little girl. And um, I have to say, you are the exception to prove the rule. You really are, you really are. <laughs> Woo! different jobs, business school, you're throwing in a pandemic, and you guys just made it look like, eh, you know, it's not a big deal, but you worked through things beautifully. And honestly, the way you did that, for me, was an example how to work together. You are an, an awesome team. The love you have for each other, I think, just makes what you do so easy, and it's, it's beautiful.
like so There's a ton of great stories. Turn, turn page. Uh, it's gonna happen a few times. And for Matt, it was... There's shockingly little difference between 20-year-old college us and 25-year-old working adult us. Um, except Matt had traded up from falling asleep on a lounge chair in college with Domino's cheesy bread on his chest uh, to falling asleep on his comfortable couch in New York City with Chinese food on his chest. <laughs> When I was four years old and still not potty trained, <laughs> that's a separate story. <laughs> Katie bypassed my parents' system of potty training me and basically came up with this system where she would put nail polish on a ledge above the toilet and would only paint my nails if I peed in the potty. <laughs> and it worked. I'm not in diapers tonight. <laughs> Back to the champagne.